What's going on guys? Finally moved into my new house. Um now that everything is settled in, I have more time to do videos and um I'm so glad I don't have to worry about, you know, leasing an apartment and and moving to a new apartment and stuff like that. Now it's permanent, so I'm happy about that, but um I don't think I've ever shown my rats. Um not that I always had rats, but I started breeding rats probably like what I would say like three, four months ago. I don't have nothing, nothing huge. Um, two males, two eight females. I used to only have this rack, but babies kept disappearing, and moms kept lifting babies out, keep leaving babies out, and I just didn't like that. So I decided to do a maternity rack, which is working pretty, pretty well. I, I'm really, I'm really liking this. Uh, the tubs, you know. For one rat, it's it's nothing. It's, it's not big at all. But for for one rat, it will do. Especially a rat that is, you know, her focus is just babies, water, and food. Um, um, I have talked to a couple breeders that uses these tubs, and they never had problems with them. So, and since I've been using them, I didn't have a problem with them either. So, I'm loving that. And right here, this is my mice rack. I actually have a couple of females. This one looks like it's giving birth. The one in here, I see some blood. Anyways, um, I only have one level done. I just literally had extra wood and just put whatever came out together. Like you can see, it's not the best rack. But um, if this works for me, then I'm just going to rebuild it or just build the, the remaining um, levels. But yeah, so this is my garage. This is a long time, like a long term project that I have. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing this a whole, the whole um, snake room or facility, if you will. Um, as you can see, it's gonna need lots of work, insulation mostly. So whenever the money comes in, I'll start thinking about it. But, um, but yeah, um, probably do. A uh, quarter for rats and uh, the rest for snakes. Maybe do external, external, how do you call that? An external fan or ventilation or whatever. I'll figure out later. But that's what I, you know, that's what I wanted to do. It's a pretty big space. I can keep a really decent sized collection in this room. Um, I wouldn't want to outgrow it. I think if I outgrow this room in the collection, it, it's just going to be too much for one person. So. Yeah, this is where I want to stay at. Alright, so this is my rats. Alright guys, so this is my snake room. Uh, it's just a little room in the basement until I decide what to do with the garage. But it looks smaller than what it really is, really. Oh, let me just get on top of here and show you guys. You see all of that space that I'm killing off just to fit the racks in here. That's probably a four times four over there, and here is like two feet of the wall, so it is a lot of space. But, but yeah, so this is where I'm at with the, you know, with the racks and with the collection. Here, let me back up a little bit. It's enough, but um, here's my baby rack. Um, I'll just run down real quick, just one or two animals. Um, this video is really to show you guys where I'm at and I'll start making a lot more videos later on but oh, Here I got a really nice IJ Jaguar I'm really liking the carpets. I'm really liking working with the carpets Even though I got bit by one of the big ones like two days ago Here's the caramel Jaguar tiger She's going to be nice. All those yellows are going to come out for sure. Uh, this over here are babies that I produced. Oh, sorry. Let me get out of the way. That's nice. Right now I got two hypos, male and female, and two hypo Roswell Lottotels. All of them possible head moon glow, 
and it's also male and female so if you're interested like get at me and we'll talk I'll send you pictures and all the information this is my CB70 rack this is where all my ball pythons will be and my um, my boa constrictors at least my males and a lot of my males carpets as well um, I'm really hoping this guy will breed for me this year I have a really nice female for him come on go back oh, Jesus after I got bit by the big females I do not want to get bit again so go back anyways uh, so I got him what else I got here that I can just show uh, this girl just ate actually she hasn't eaten for like three weeks and I put a live um, crawling rat and she ate it so I guess she's eating live uh, what do we got here oh, I love the lighting on this room too better than the other ones this is my jungle head blood in a couple months she'll be breeding so let's hope she takes this year uh, what else I got here cool this girl was the one who got me last time she's going into a shed well look how badass that thing is that's just a jaguar I'll breed her next year. That's the female I want the, the the zebra tiger jag to go to. That's a jungle. What else do I got here? Oh, nothing really. Um, just the two bloods that are getting big. I'll show them later on. They're in shed. Uh, in the carpets. And right here, this is my four footer um, freedom breeder. Gotta show you a couple of females that are getting ready and that I'm in love with. Look at this thing. That's my Pink Panther T Glow possible head anery. Um, she'll be breeding late this season. This girl right here. I can't believe how big she is. I had her since she was a little tiny warm. Uh, what else I got here? That's about it. And the other big females. Alright guys, so... Yeah, so that was just a quick rundown. Um, this is where I'm standing at. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, I'll keep making better videos. Alright.